you got to think about what caused that. If it was just uh, a bunch of stress being built up, and it was just you can think of it like a dam. You know, if one part or yeah, think of it like a dam. If like some water goes through, it just kind of it will all break apart, and then it all unwinds if you have a lot of it stored up. And so the best way is just to not have a lot of water in the dam, not to plug it up. So the way I would say that is uh, you can either be consistently a universal dick or you can, uh, you can have those, lashing, those moments of lashing out or you can find another way of coping with it. Usually talking with loved ones is a good one. Or I always find if I'm really stressed out or um, I'm being kind of mean to someone else or I, say I find a problem with myself and I can never have the motivation to solve it, I always think about how it affects other people other than me because I because people who are struggling mentally or have some problems with like how they feel it's the prob the problem comes from the fact that they don't care about themselves so when you make it about someone who you love because half a mile <laughs> turn left, <laughs> a mile, turn left. Um, it's about someone else that you love you're more inclined to start doing it so think about how you lashing out in anger negatively affects those who are closest to you. Speaking of people who are closest to you, you should listen to those who are closest to you. Don't do weed in the car. <laughs> so why should you listen to people that are closest to you? Because uh, if love goes both ways, as much as you care for them, they care for you. And you hurting yourself is hurting them. Mm -hmm. The fact the if you have the thing that really hurts someone who loves you is what them seeing you in pain. Because them seeing you hurt, their job as someone who loves you is to make you feel good. Yeah. And when they see that you're the one that's causing the pain to yourself they see you as the asshole. You didn't even have like the decency to give yourself some slack or understand that you're harming other people. Mm -hmm. That you're so quick to beat up yourself, you never realize how that affects others. And I always think of friends and family, they have the most impact on you. The majority of your personality is not based off um, how you were born, but those around you. So think of who you are is just a product of everyone you spend time with. Mm -hmm. So you are just as much them as they are you. Yeah. But then why aren't you the same person as like your siblings? Because, you know, Gavin, different time, he was hanging out with different groups of friends. Mm -hmm. It's just who he mixed with. think because you're saying like when someone like loves you that can like hurt uh, it can like hurt both ways when yeah you're hurting yourself yeah um, so do you think that kind of love can go away can go away yeah like do you think like it'll always be there or do you think it can go away I think there's two main types of love mm -hmm. you can look at it there's an emotional love and there's a sexual love an emotional love was is your as homo sapiens we are naturally extremely emotional creatures and we need to bond with others it's how we learn is best by with being with others it's just evolutionary trait and the other is sexual love or the idea that you need to reproduce and make more of your species and then there's a whole thing about like bisexuality and gay also being intentional and evolutionary which is really interesting in that if you live in a society in which um, the father's abandonment and the benefit of the species is based off of having two parents nurture a single young then having someone who is bisexual or gay who will not actively be reproducing and making more humans to act as that father would be beneficial for everyone which is cool Wait, what? Is, I'm very lost. So what do you mean? Oh, here yeah, I, I can go. This is like we're gonna go on another rant. The idea of why um, homosexuality exists in humans. 
some people think that so originally the idea of it was that it was a mutation mm -hmm. because humans are more complex and have more emotions so there's more room for quote-unquote error but more people start thinking that it's intentional because it's beneficial for the species half a mile. there's Turn the other there's a few other species which homosexuality can be observed but with the main one is in penguins and penguins are one of the few species which have both parents watch after their young. So it makes sense from a scientific standpoint or just a species standpoint survival to have people who will not actively be making more young but can fill in the spot of the father figure. Yeah. So it's all part of the diverse role that everyone plays with each other. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. So going back though, you, you were talking about the kinds of loves, but how do they go like like can they go away? I think emotional love and bond bonds come and go. Well, what is love? What is love? <clears throat> I think there's a level of emotional love, like I can say I love my friends. Obviously it's not in a romantic way. Yeah. But it's the point where I would I won't, I won't say to do anything, but I would do a lot of things. I would, I would say that type of love never goes away. Even if someone is an absolute dick to you, mm -hmm. the fact that you still get up and try to help them shows that there is a part of you that still loves them. That if you are, if you really are torn apart to the point where you just don't care at all, then that's truly not loving someone but I don't think anyone could ever get to that point because if you didn't love if you didn't love them or you stopped loving them then you wouldn't care it's like when someone breaks up with an ex and they they're still the main thing is that one of them is still in love with the other and there, there is still a stigma because they still care about each other mm -hmm. but it just kind of stopped but people still care so I think that love really just doesn't go away. I don't want to say it's forever, but it stays. Yeah. And then romantic love is just like, it's a different thing. Yeah, I mean, some stuff I feel like just goes away, though, like real kind of quick. Like what happened with me? Like that thing, I feel like that. Horm happened. More hormone-based love? Well, no, like what happened the whole... Uh, Destination. Lied next. to like the whole summer well, about... There. I'll be this is your house, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just well, wait me. I think I had to do this last time too. Right yeah. In reverse. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like, what happened in the sense where like I realized I'd been realized I'd been lied to all summer, and that girl's like literally dating me and another person oh. all summer. Like I, I had went away real quick. So I would those, say. Would you think that that was love then, Brody? No, I think that's an outlier because the the ch the person that you were observing was also taking a lot of drugs that messes with their brain chemistry. And when someone's still developing, they'll do something that a human shouldn't naturally do. That is a good point. All right. That concludes science and philosophy with Brody. See you, Brody. <laughs> Episode two will be in like three weeks. Under the <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. So, yeah, that, that's today's vlog.